Hey everybody, this is Trevor, and thank you for coming to my show today. Uh, today, I want to talk about something I saw in the news just uh, two days ago, the uh, good old news. And that was a company, a trucking company in the United States by J.B. Hunt. And the article was that they want to mandate that all their drivers have dash cams that are facing them. So driver facing dash cams. Now, as many of you know who watch my channel, I have wanted to be a truck driver since my days of watching BJ and the Bear. And because of the situation that I'm in living in Canada, I haven't been able to be a truck driver uh, thanks to Justin Trudeau and his COVID mandates. Uh, so, that being said, uh, I do follow trucking, I'm a trucking enthusiast, and I would love to be a trucker, as you all know, who come to my show, know that about me. <clears throat> but I'd like to know from the trucking world, now I don't think that there's any truckers out there that would accept a dash cam that's facing them while they're working. Okay, I can't imagine anyone wanting that. I am not in a I'm not a truck driver as of yet still, but I would not want a dash cam facing me. Now the excuses from the mega corporation, mega carriers, their excuses are well, it's gonna save on insurance. I I don't you know, maybe a few bucks here and there. And if and if they're willing to do that just to save a few bucks how faceless does that make these mega corporate carriers trucking companies it just makes them even more i just i resent them even more okay but yet i have heard from truck drivers who've worked for smaller uh trucking companies where they've had driver facing dash cams i just i find this to be a uh, it's an it's an invasion of privacy. Okay, I get it. They they want to have for insurance reasons. Well, I'll tell you what, if I was to get a truck driving job today, <coughs> I'd be more than willing to have the dash cam facing the road. Okay, that's fine. You know, you can put dash cams or GoPros on the back of the truck. On you know, the tractor trailer can have whatever. You can have cameras facing the traffic coming at me and. And I want to see the traffic in front of me in case there's an accident. You have to be able to explain. Now, I know these mega corporations will say, well, you know, maybe the driver was falling asleep or picking their nose or whatever the heck they're doing. I just, I, I can't, I can't do it. I, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. If the company's policy was driver facing cameras, I couldn't do it. I just, it's such a lack of. An invasion of privacy and then you'll hear about companies saying well it's only on for the amount of time that you're driving so that when you're in the, um, the truck stop or wherever you're pulling over for the you know for the day or the evening to have your 10 hour break you know we don't watch you well how do I know that okay and anecdotal evidence I've had truckers say yeah they've been in their dispatch units and you know the cameras are still on while guys and gals are sitting there eating you know, maybe I'm getting changed. Maybe I, I, I don't know. Whatever you're doing, you know, it's your time to sit there and eat. I, that's a real invasion of privacy. When, when the, the, your, the company can just turn on the camera and say, okay, I guess he's eating now or he's getting changed or she's getting changed. I mean, these things need to be fought. Okay, there, there's, there has to be lines drawn in the sand, okay? You're in the trucking industry. Now, I understand if someone's, <clears throat> I was trying to think, like who would comply and I guess people who are perhaps new to North America maybe on a work visa and maybe the, these big carriers are threatening you with unemployment which I don't think would fare very well if you're not a citizen of Canada or United States if they say look if you don't have this dash cam facing you you know good luck working here I think that that could be a threat to people um, if you're not an actual Canadian or US citizen um, 
you know, for whatever or circumstances, I am a Canadian citizen, and uh, you know, you're struggling to feed the family. And you, you gotta, you gotta agree to this. And I know a lot of people. This is why I'm not in trucking because I didn't accept a particular medical procedure to be a truck driver. And yes, it's a financial hit. Some people decided they had to do it. So I just wonder where the 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 line in the sand has to be drawn. And I. This has got to be one. This has got to be one, okay, where where you just can't allow people to watch you all day. Um, like, and, and then they'll, what's considered distractive driving? Uh, I mean, maybe, you know, if I, I start, maybe I'm driving and I just rub my beard for 10 seconds. Would the company call me in and say, you touched your beard, you picked your nose, you adjusted your glasses, you touched your hat, you, you know... You, you didn't have two hands on at 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock on the wheel for 12 hours. And, you know, you were distracted for 8 seconds. You know, they'll come down and tell you, well, we have a proof here. For 12 seconds, you, you just rubbed your beard a little bit, picked your nose, <coughs> adjusted your glasses. Like, you know, you start thinking, like, I think it takes the fun out of working, okay? I mean, you have to enjoy your job. Okay, and I think that being a truck driver, you know, would be a, a great job to have. If you're allowed, you know, you have to, you, you're just taking a freedom away. People just, and who's staring at you all day? These companies that are, that are having these driver-facing dash cams, I mean, somebody's got to review it. So that means the company has to pay somebody to do that. So I think there are... You know, and then you got to set these cameras up. The company has to pay for them. So the amount of money that they would save in insurance, it's it's like, boom. It's like nickel difference there. Like, I don't understand how they think it's some kind of... The insurance savings thing is, is BS. Okay, they just want to watch you. To me, it's perverted. It's creepy. Okay, again, I think a, a camera face in the road. Okay, you're, you know, um, that's fine. That's good. And make you want to have a camera on the back of your your tanker, your skateboard, you know the the dry van, whatever you want, like the reefer, whatever you want to have it facing the traffic coming towards it, fine. But just you can't have it, and truckers need to draw this line. And and I wonder, you know, I go to get my CDL. I'd like to get it soon. I, I would love to still get it. Like, how does that? You know, I mean. I'm just putting myself in even a, a smaller category of places that would hire me because as soon as somebody would say, you know, hey, we have driver facing dash cam, I would, I couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. Okay, I just, I, for the reasons. I mean, you just kind of go like that while you're driving. Just, you know, maybe rub my beard. Maybe I itch my neck. I got a scratch here or something. Okay. Um, you know, I don't know. Like even, you know, you you set up your. Um, uh, like whatever you, you, you're trying to follow the GPS and stuff like that. You just glance. Like, what are you supposed to do? Like, do I do I have my eyes just out on like this? And you're holding the steering wheel. I think it produces an even more a higher stress level. And and truckers, I know they're already under a tremendous stress level, trying to get things here and there, and working under a, a system of EDL. And you have to have your brakes here, and you have to drive now. And I, I just. You know, I swear to God, if I ever became a trucker, I would love to just right away just become an owner-operator. Own my own uh, tractor-trailer, and by God, unless... I, by that point, though, the government would probably mandate that every driver, whether you be an owner-operator, company driver, lease driver, whatever, they'll probably mandate it by that time that you have to have a driver-facing dash cam. And it's, I, I, it's, I can't see how it's... A, it's not going to... It's not... It's not going to save lives. And the amount of money you save in insurance, come on, really? I mean, you're just pissing people off, and they won't want to work for you. And they'll they'll maybe go to J.B. Hunt or all these, the Bison and the CR England and good old Swifty Swift. People will be like, fine, maybe they <coughs> have to go get a job in those companies and put up with it for six, seven months or whatever. And, tr and they'll continue. You know what these drivers will do? Okay, they will, like myself, if I had to, I would, okay, do it. And then in that time, I'm just going to go out and try to find myself a company or become an owner-operator as quickly as I can 
so that I don't have to do that. So because I don't want, so I don't know what people are doing. They're watching me. Okay, are they creepy? Uh, do they enjoy watching, you know, uh, men eat dinner and change in front? Like, I mean, you got to pull the curtains all the time. You'd have to be so discreet that it's just, it's come on, it's it's ridiculous to have a camera facing a human being for that amount of time and, and not have them under stress. And I think even, you know, like that, you're going to be, I'm not paying attention. So part of your brain is going to be thinking, okay, they're watching me, they're watching me, they're watching me. I mean, you're not, you're not being comfortable. You're not driving on the road in a professional manner and in a, in a, in a, in a friendly manner either. So until I mean, unless government mandates it that it happens, um, if you're a company thinking about that, you're shooting yourself in the foot. I really think a lot of people will just be like, "No, I'm 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 gone." Okay, I'm gone. You're not. I'm not going to sit here and have someone watch me all day. Have the cameras facing the road. That's fine. But you're not going to sit here and watch me forever. How long drivers can drive here in North America? What about eleven hours a day? You're just shooting yourself in the foot. So. I'd like to get some comments here from the truckers out there, or you don't have to be a trucker. You can be a trucker enthusiast or just someone who's hearing about this for the first time. Comment below and let me let me know what you would think if, uh, you know, would you have... Now, here's another thing. Uh, um, a good a friend of mine who's in the trucking industry brought this point up, and he said to the, the company that they, they want to have driver... They had driver-facing dash cam. He says, okay... Are you going to have um, uh, set up a, a camera for the employees that you have working at home now? Or, you know, all to all your employees are going to have a camera on them for every minute of the, the day that they're supposed to be working. 9 to 5, 10 to 6, whatever. You brought, and the people are like, no, like, especially, are you going to have these cameras put into their home? <clears throat> a lot of trunking companies over the past three years have realized, oh, hey, uh, Maybe we can downsize some of our uh, our office space here and just have people work from home. It's cheaper because, you know, it's corporations are all about saving the bucks, right? I guess, you know, I, and I'm not against that either, but I just, it was a good point. Are you going to have these people working at home have a camera put on them? Okay, are you going to do that? And is that camera going to be facing... Oh, and set another camera up in their kitchen for when they're eating, you know, at their kitchen table or their couch or something because that's where they're going to eat. Because, you know, a truck driver, when you're done the day and you park your truck, you know, you, you sit in the back and you you eat something, right? Well, I guess, you know, these... And that's supposed to be your time off and these cameras are supposed to be off and I've heard they're not really... That's not not really happening. So... It was a good point to be brought up. Are trucking companies going to have cameras on their employees? No, I see. You see where this goes. You see where this goes. If you're in a, you own a trucking company, you're watching this. I mean, do you see where this goes? You're going to lose good people. You're going to lose people that just, you know, that, that want to drive the truck. That you know are like myself, who I think would be a very good, reliable worker for you. But you're going to lose me, and and I would go to another company if I had to work for you for six, seven months. Fine. You can sit there and watch me and whatever. I mean, it's creepy. It's perverted. It's, it's not right. Um, but you're going to lose good people, okay? And the people you keep are just going to be people that are desperate to stay here and, and live and work in Canada and the United States. And you're going to run. And then you'll run into problems. You're going to have more accidents anyways because you're not going to keep the good drivers. What what company that ha would have a dash a dash cam, driver facing dash cam, is going to keep the good people. You're not going to keep the good people. You're, you're going to keep the worst drivers around. So your insurance rates are going to go up, for Christ's sake, because these people are going to be getting in accidents. Yeah, and you'll see them. Oh, you'll see them jumping around as the truck, <laughs> you know, hits, you know, goes over the side of the road and into the ditch. <clears throat> Great, you can see them. But you're, you're going to keep those kind of drivers. You're not going to, you're not going to retain quality drivers okay with a driver facing dash cam so if you're a trucker and you're going through that right now or you're a trucking enthusiast whatever just leave a comment below i'd love to hear from you um i can't imagine anybody here is in favor of a uh the dash cam unless you know you're um uh, jb hunt or bison or cr england or swifty swift you probably think this is a great idea but you've probably uh, those people I don't even know how to drive a truck. So 
Anyways, uh, appreciate everybody who's likes, shares, comments, subscribes. You're all greatly appreciated, and I thank you for watching my video today. Stay free.